Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a Joy Malone candle lit at the side of me and my room it smells so good, all the autumn vibes. So if you have me on Instagram, M. Shalex, you will probably know that I treated myself to some new knee-high boots, two pairs of Stuart Wiseman's to be exact. So today I thought I would do a video firstly all about Stuart Wiseman boots. So if you guys are thinking about buying them or if you don't know what they are and you want to know why they're so good, this is a video for you. But also just generally about styling knee-high boots. I feel like knee high boots are something that I wanted to know how to style for years but I just couldn't get it quite right. So I'm going to basically show you how I choose to style knee high boots, show you a few ideas and talk through my new knee high boots. So without further ado, let's go. So, Stuart Wiseman boots are something that I have wanted for a very, very, very long time. I actually blame my blogger friends because they are all very much into designer fashion. And at first I remember thinking, well, why would you pay 500 or 700 pounds for a pair of plain black boots? And this is actually a question a lot of people have asked me on Instagram. They've kind of messaged me and been like, why don't you just get dupes? But the reason people are buying Stuart Wiseman boots is because the way they're designed is that they completely hug your leg. They actually make your calf look so great. And I know that a lot of people have kind of copied the boots and done the boots with the tie at the top but trust me I've bought them all I've spent so much money on dupes and they're just not the same they don't look the same the reason that people are buying these boots is because of the quality apparently they just don't sag they don't expand on your leg they don't fall down so that's why I bought them and I am so 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 glad that I did buy them I'm actually a real sensible Sally when it comes to buying designer things and I've tried these on so many times before I took the leap and bought them if you watch my Bista Village video I tried some on there then I tried some on in the store in New York I always try them on and I finally took the plunge. I found these ones at 40% off. Still extortionate for boots, but the quality is amazing. And just like with my Burberry jacket, I'm never going to buy another pair of knee-high boots again after these, hopefully. So... I'm just gonna unbox them and show you the ones I bought and talk you through them and then we will style them up. Came in these little boxes, although one's small and one's big. Don't know why, don't ask me. So first I got these ones. These are just called the suede over the knee boots in blush. I am only around five foot two and you'll see when I try these on. I personally think they come up to the perfect length on my leg. I'm not really a fan of boots that come below my knee. I feel like they look more flattering on me when they go over into my thigh. These ones are shorter and chunkier so I feel like these ones are gonna be a day-to-day -day boot that kind of are so easy to wear and comfortable to walk around in and that's why I ordered these ones. I love the colour, it's called blush so I expected them to be pink. They're more of like a taupe kind of colour, such a dark grey I would say but again I don't know, we all think colours are different so they're not as grey as the grey ones that Stuart Wiseman do but I kind of like the colour, kind of beigey and then obviously they have the tie. So I'm going to show you the other one in comparison also obviously it comes with a little dust bag. I'm so bad at taking care of things so I need to ensure that I spray these with a suede spray and that I actually use a dust bag. So the black box, don't ask me why this box is bigger. Din, din, din. Maybe it's because the heel's bigger on these ones. I could not not order a pair of black boots and I know it seems very, very excessive for me to order both pairs but in all honesty I just couldn't choose the heel and I couldn't choose the colour so I thought I'll just order both and then I can always send one back if necessary. The issue with me is that I really like them both. So the difference, these ones have a bigger heel, but they're still chunky. So I'm telling you, they're still really comfortable. And obviously these ones have a chunkier, smaller heel. I would say these are probably better for day-to-day -day wear. They didn't actually do these ones in black. And I think these ones are better for night kind of wear. I do think these look so much more flattering on my legs because I am quite small. I do find that I personally feel like I look better with a heel. I'm not saying you have to wear a heel, it's just a personal preference. And I was shocked at how comfortable these actually are, genuinely. One thing I would say about Stuart Wiseman's is they are really hard to get get on and the only reason I know how to get them on is because the lady in the store told me. So you obviously have them like this. You're meant to obviously undo this bit and then fold them over. That is how you get Stuart Wiseman's on. And I remember thinking I am giving up on these before I've already started because they're just too hard to get on but they're really not. Just literally fold them in half like this and then sit down on a bed or on a chair or something and you just slide on and I promise you they fit so 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 well. I think that's why they hug the leg so well. I had quite a lot of messages from people asking me about the sizing of Stuart Wiseman's. I'm a UK size 6 and I got a size 6 in these and they are absolutely fine. They're so comfortable and they're perfect. I spoke to the lady that does my nails, Laura at Ragdoll Nails. She was saying she wears socks with hers because otherwise they're quite slippery and obviously with them being nice and satiny inside you probably don't want to ruin that. So I feel like these are the kind of boots that once 
once you put them on, you're probably not ever going to want to go back to normal boots. I feel like I've spent my whole life buying dupes of Stuart Wiseman's and my issue is that knee-high boots always, always, always fall down on my legs, no matter how much I tie them, no matter how expensive the boots are. And these seem to be the only ones that don't, which is probably why they're the creme de la creme of knee-high boots and every single person talks about them and wears them. So I tweeted and basically said, guys, do you actually recommend Stuart Wiseman's? Because I do think it's excessive to spend that much on a plain pair of boots. And so many girls came back to me and were like, absolutely yes. So I do think it's one of those things that once you buy something that's kind of top quality luxury, you then don't need to ever go and buy more boots again. So I bought a Burberry trench coat a few years ago because I was spending so much money every season on a new trench coat, just because I didn't want to spend that much on the Burberry one. And now I have my Burberry one, I'll never buy another trench coat again. So I feel like it's the same with the knee high boots. I'd rather have one pair of high quality knee high boots than 10 pairs. I'm not kidding. I have like 10 different pairs in my wardrobe of knee high boots that just aren't that perfect. And honestly, I am telling you the way that these look when they are on your legs is just so good and so classic and just amazing. So why don't I stop rambling and we go over and try them on and then I can talk about them a bit better and I can also show you styling ideas for knee high boots. So first things first, I thought I would show you the black boots with a little dress because for me, I feel like knee high boots just go with dresses so, so, so nicely. So there we go. You can obviously put a jacket on in winter because it's a little bit cold right now. I've got this nice little cozy jacket. I just think it goes so nice with leopard print obviously because everything seems to go with leopard print right now and I feel like mini dresses just look so good with knee highs because you can kind of see the little bit of skin. Hopefully here you can see what I mean by I think they come up the perfect kind of height on my short little legs and I just think they hug my legs so 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 well. There's still room in them but I still think they fit so nicely and kind of hug the leg. If you look at this bit they hug but they're not too tight. They're still really comfortable and they heal even though I'm tall and it does elongate my legs it's really not uncomfortable like I could walk all day in these which is really good and then you can just kind of tie them to however you would like at the back so you can see you can completely untie them pull them up more so that they fit properly and then you just tie them again so I'm just gonna sit on here so you can see the fit of them a bit better so hopefully you sat down you can see how nicely they just hug the leg obviously they're not completely skin tight because you need to be able to walk and move so you do have like obviously a little bit of room in them but all you need to do is just undo this and then you can tighten them and kind of make them as tight as you wish like I could definitely tighten this one more but you know what they're really comfortable they're definitely not going to slip down it completely depends I love the heel I think they just look so classy and obviously with a chunky heel I just think it makes it look nicer for some reason and it also makes it a lot more comfortable to walk in. I have really wide feet. I am basically a duck. I just struggle really badly with shoes because I have wide feet and I think for once in my life these make my feet look narrow which is great because I think with them coming in here it's really flattering and it does kind of elongate the leg whereas a lot of shoes are a bit too rounded for me. You need to get the perfect balance between too pointy and too roundy and I feel like these are the perfect balance so that it kind of hides the fact that I am a duck. So I've shown you the obvious option when styling up knee high boots which is obviously a nice little mini dress which takes you from day to night but now I wanted to show you a jumper dress if you followed me for a while you will know I love jumper dresses this is probably the softest coziest nicest loveliest jumper dress I've ever had and I think it works really well with the knee high boots because it's got the little slits in it so I wanted to show you it another reason why I love knee high boots is because I don't have to shave my legs there we go also these keep me so 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 warm I'm very happy I'm thinking I will probably wear skin tights underneath them in winter because then it's protecting my toes it's keeping me warm but also it means my legs are going to be warm up here as well although they feel very thermal I'm happy about that so I feel like it looks really nice with this little jumper dress just because it gives the kind of casual day-to-day -day autumn look but also you could wear this to dinner or you could wear it to date night and I like that I'm all about as you guys probably know by now outfits that take you from day to night you just can't beat jumper dresses in winter and it's such an easy throw on outfit literally throw on a jumper dress feel like you're in a duvet all day and then just put on knee-high boots with it and I feel like it's such a winner for an outfit and a way to style knee high boots. I also feel like a foolproof way to style knee high boots is with a nice long coat. I just feel like it makes the boots look so classy and it kind of keeps you really nice and warm but I just really love throwing kind of big long line coats over and a nice patterned one as well because it goes with the black just to add a bit of something to an outfit and I don't know it's just my kind of autumn go-to. So next up it would not be an M haul without a little skirt so a nice little check skirt if you're kind of wanting to go for the more leg out look again a really nice kind of autumn look just with a little roll neck and then my foolproof just whack it on with a nice little trench every time I go for dinner I always wear a long trench coat I don't know why I always walk in like really nervous with my long trench coat and then take it off when I sit down but I just think 
think trenches go so 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 well with knee high boots as do little skirts again I just hope this video is going to show you that they're really versatile so next I think I'm going to try out with some jeans because I know that a lot of you guys probably well maybe you might not want to just always kind of get your legs out so I'll try it with some jeans for the first time I have never tried these knee high boots with jeans so this is going to be a first so I tend to go for black jeans although these definitely I need to get some new ones because they're more grey now because I have worn them into the ground and I actually think they look really nice with the knee highs I train my legs a lot at the gym so I used to always kind of not like my thighs and now I love them I go to the gym to train them to work hard to make them bigger you gotta just work that you know and I just think they actually look really nice with jeans I would never wear knee high boots with jeans but I know a lot of girls do and I know a lot of people don't want to have their legs out all the time firstly it's cold secondly you might feel like you've got to shave and third you might just not want to have your legs out all the time which is totally fine and actually I feel so comfortable so warm and I think these look really lovely with jeans I just wanted to quickly show you how comfortable and how easy it can be as well to just throw on a little jumper with the boots and the jeans I love this jumper again if you've got me on Instagram I'm sure like she'll know I've been wearing this all the time oh it's so comfortable in fact I feel like I've totally worn it into the ground I do this in loads of different colors and I love that you can just literally throw it on be slouchy be comfortable wear it with your jeans but it still looks really classy with the boots and also it's kind of a nice casual look but you could easily wear it for dinner as well I think that's why I like knee high boots you can wear them as a dress down thing or you can wear them as a dressed up thing I just think they are the perfect wardrobe essential for autumn winter so you were probably wondering where the blush ones were here they are so I think with these ones it takes a little bit more planning of your outfits just because to be honest the reason I didn't want to order them is because I thought well what are they actually gonna go with I'm not gonna be able to wear them outside in winter because I'm gonna be so scared that they're gonna get ruined imagine me just going into a nightclub and just getting alcohol tips down my boots wow I would literally be like no 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 I'd have to be escorted out but actually I think when as long as you plan your outfits they look great so as you can see here I popped it with a jumper dress I think the colors go really well with the boots I'll show you a few other outfits that I think they go with as well but I was actually speaking to someone the other day and she said she prefers these as more of a summer boot and she will wear them with like a nice white floaty dress in summer and spring I think that's a really good idea particularly if like me you live in a climate where it's still really cold in spring anyway and I think as you can see from the heel these are so comfortable they're still very flattering they've still got that really nice kind of front section I'd say they're a little bit better for wider feet they're just a bit more roomy these ones but look at that heel still gives you that length but they're still really comfortable and I personally think this color is a very flattering color so the denim skirts I absolutely love denim skirts I actually think this one's a little bit too roomy for me but I think it looks absolutely great with the boots in both colors I will leave some pictures here of me wearing a denim skirt with the black boots that's the first outfit I wore with the black boots and I was so excited I was like I love these boots I'm keeping them and it looks really good with light denim too that to me means that these ones will look amazing with light denim jeans if you are more of a jean lover and obviously I just put a really comfortable jumper over the top these are just so comfortable I forgot to say price wise Stuart Wiseman's tend to be about 750 pounds I will leave links below I managed to get them at 40% off they still have them available for now but I know that they're selling out very quickly I've had so many messages on Instagram from people saying that they bought them so I will leave the link below as well to the 40% off link to get the two pairs that I got technically I got two pairs for the price of one so I'm not complaining I'm just going to quickly pop the coat on so you can see how nice these look with a coat as well queen of the coats is it time for a coat haul who knows is it too early in the year for a coat haul I've still got a cold who knows so again as you can see a nice long kind of coat I just think it goes so well with knee high boots you can have it open you can close it and I just think they look so smart they hug the legs so well and I just think it adds a nice kind of classy feel I think these are the classiest boots ever I'm just in love I'm just so in love last but certainly not least buying into the snake print trend I actually think these boots look so good with neutral colors and black as well and hopefully you can see here that I think knee high boots look really good with these new kind of floaty mini skirts because they show a little bit of leg you're really comfortable you're really warm and I just think they look really classy I've just popped it with this cozy little jumper so there we have it guys I really hope you liked this video if you are thinking about buying Stuart Wiseman's I hope this has helped leave any questions you may have below if you aren't bothered about Stuart Wiseman that is totally fine as I always say in my designer videos please don't feel that you have to go for the trends Stuart Wiseman's have been around for years and years and it's taken me like a good five years to actually buy them because I didn't want it to be a trend piece I want it to be an investment in my wardrobe that I'm going to wear every single day and get really good cost per wear out of I always do this I did this with my Burberry trench I did this with my Gucci belt I want to know am I going to get my money's worth from it rather than it just sit in my bedroom because I work hard for my money as you guys do and I don't like to just fritter it on stuff so I'm really sensible with my purchases painlessly so so 
don't feel like you need to go and spend loads of money on boots, you can go and get any knee-high boots and hopefully this has given you ideas of how to style them up. Everything I mentioned will be linked below. Come say hi on Instagram. I love seeing you guys watching my videos, so thank you so much. Bye!